Your good friend, Crescent. What's going on guys? It's Crescent here. Now yesterday was Halloween and Halloween was a good day. And if you were watching my channel, I streamed Visage for over nine hours and still didn't beat it. Well, long and behold, like eight seconds after the stream was done, I came across a secret. I walked in the shed. And I walked over to these and I noticed I could hold them and they rolled well we're gonna forget about that for now because it's dark and the ghost turned off the lights on me but yeah they rolled I can't see anything holy shit okay it's dark in there there we go but the downside is I have no more lighters I've literally used everything I had so yeah but these rolled and opened up to this Weird little space. Not enough space to squeeze. I must not be done pushing. Push a little more. There we go. So it opened up to this tiny space. And I found an area where I could use my Omega key. Which opened up the symbol to the door that is downstairs. How awesome is that? Also, there's this doll here. Didn't know that was here, but that's pretty cool. So let's go back under here. Try and keep my sanity as best I can with literally no source of light. And basically the Omega door was downstairs in the basement. And it's something I've been trying to get into for ages. And did not know how. And now I do. Apparently. So there's the door. It's like a trap door and in there is apparently one of the six silver mask pieces that you need to beat the game. I finished yesterday with four. The fifth one. Apparently down here. So, we're opening the door. You know, apparently put it, putting a handle on it unlocks it. That's kind of spooky. Well, down we go, I guess. Down we go. What's down here, you say? Well, I don't know. But it looks like an area I saw on the VHS tape. And we're gonna stick to it. And I am... There was a hospital under... There was a testing facility underneath... The whole time. A lighter? Oh my god, thank you god. I will use that. I will graciously hold on to it. I will love it forever. This compass isn't actually useful. After you do the second story, it's pointless to keep. The wall looks very fragile. You know, you're right. It does. We're going to go through this door first. No, we're not. Uh, the wall looks very fragile, though. So we're going to break through the door. Through the wall, I guess. Uh, let's put this away. I smash through with this thing. Nope. Well, let's get rid of you. I need something that will allow me to break through that wall. I'm not seeing much of anything in here, honestly. That will allow me to do that. This. I can break a window. Emergency only. Well, this, I would say, is an emergency. In fact, I would consider this a rather large emergency. I could probably use this axe to find a way out. No, really? What I want is to get over here. Uh, I don't think I have long. So I'm going to go break this wall. Mm. 
All right, time to go in the hole. Or not. I should find something to light the passage first. I've got a lighter, my dude. Let's go. Let's get out of this gas. Ugh. Oh god, I'm a mole man. I am a mole man. Well, I'm also a man who wanders through dark tunnels with a lighter. And, uh. Well, it's very dark. It is. outrageously dark. How far does this go? God, man. I understand the need for, like, load buffering, but. This is kind of nuts. Here we go, okay. So, the gas is gone. I've made it back to the shed. But this hole was never in the shed. I would know if there was a hole in the shed, and there wasn't. Instead, there's disturbing black footprints wandering through the building. Well, black footprints go downstairs. What the hell? Is that the mask piece? Okay, and there is the mask piece. So, that was pretty quick. That was pretty painless. So there's only one part left. And I have to say, I don't know where that part is. But if I get to keep the fire axe, which unfortunately I didn't, I would have somewhat of an idea. Fortunately, no fire axe was allowed. And now I'm left with one more mask piece I have to find. So when I find out exactly how to go about doing that, I will cut to it. We will find the final mask piece. And if you want to know how to find the rest of the mask pieces, obviously, yeah, I'm sorry. It's like a nine hour stream and I don't have, I don't have the piece, like the timestamps. Maybe at some point I will, but hey, what can you do? Anyway, what's going to seem like 19 days for me to find this last piece will seem like 10 seconds for you because in a quick flash, I will show you how to find the last one. All right, <clears throat> so I got on my hands and knees and looked at this floorboard and this one. There's a gap in the floor. So what does that mean for me? Well, it means this sledgehammer I decided to lug all the way upstairs is actually useless. But if we go down these particular stairs right here, you actually get like a nice, quick, easy way to crowbar. I expect we will need to use this to rip up the floorboards go downstairs which is exactly what we are going to do so use it you gotta put your lighter away and let's pry this floorboard up Man, we kind of ruined this man's floor, but we're not stopping. We're going for two. Maybe it'd be safe. Three would be good, but we can probably get through here, which is two. I would suspect. Yeah. Uh, let's bring this back out, shall we? Yet again, we're in a cave. I don't know what it is with caves under the house, but uh, it's just what they wanted. It's uh, what the builders decided on, and we have no right to judge that, I suppose. Ah, here we go. The big door. So, oh my god, what? If you're watching this video and you haven't seen the stream and you're wondering, like, how did I know there's a big door? So you find VHS tapes throughout the building. 
And when you beat the three main stories, you find the final VHS tape. You watch those tapes on the main TV in the living room and you kind of see like images, which are supposed to be hints as to where to find each mask. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't given any hints on what to do in the nuclear silo, which is this place. So all we can really do is wander around and wonder how they built this complete with factory windows. And you can't see it from outside. Looks like I can go up here, so I probably need to turn these. Do I gotta turn them all? Do I need to turn one? Do I need to turn any? No, I don't. I just go right on through. I'll accept that. Big red button says press me. And so I shall. Guess I moved some pipes. That's cool. <clears throat> so I guess that probably means I can just kind of go down the path I never went down to to begin with, but I can now pass through. Oh boy. All this flammable stuff. It's a huge factory. I wonder what they're making down here. Bombs? Toxic waste? Well, definitely toxic waste. But what else are they making? Who knows? There was gas in the last place. Maybe they're making toxic gas. I press any of these? Doesn't look like it. I can just keep going in this general direction, though. Another big door. Well, I suppose that's a pretty obvious indication of where we need to go. Okay, the silo just continues to grow. So we got two large staircases going up and a door at the end of the hall. What are the chances that I can just walk through this door? I'm assuming not very good. Because that would be too easy. And who needs easy? Not me. Although I would like it. Oh, we got stairs here too. Can I? No, I need a key card. All right, well, how do we go about getting a key card? Maybe we don't. Maybe I just bust this vent and climb through, eh? I like that idea. No? Oh, well, there's that over there. A nice, dark, dimly lit hall. The point where I'm gonna pull my lighter back out. The lighter is like your best friend. You get a camera for a little bit, but I mean, you only get the flash and it's still impossible to see. So, not the most handy of things. Alright, here we go. We are here. Looking for a key card. Probably off some dead guy. Probably in here. It's locked. Do I need to find a key or do I just bust it open? I feel like the answer is, well, friend, you just bust it open. What are you thinking? You dumbass. And you might be right. So before I go too far, the it's locked door. I had to crowbar my way down here. But I cannot crowbar my way in there. Where's the key? I gotta find a key. And like anything, it'll probably be half impossible to find. There's apparently another door over there now. Was that always there? Maybe. Are we going down it? Yep. So in we go. Yeah, that was probably here. And as I was walking up, I just immediately zoned in on the vent. And was like, hmm, vent. Can I break it? Right, I'm going to need my new, my best friend, the lighter. Can't go in there. Oh god. Oh hey. Cafeteria. That food looks really bad. Is this the key? Lewis Taylor's locker key. Okay, choir. All I did was pick up his key. Lewis, oh god. Run. 
And by run, I mean saunter away very slowly. Try to lose him around this table. One thing I will warn you about if you play this game. The sprint button is insanely... How do I want to put it? Non-responsive. Oh. I can't use this here. I guess this is the end for your good friend, Crescent. Uh, so you get the key. <clears throat> you climb up on this. And then into the vent you go. There's no reason to go that way right now? Well, let me give you a reason. Let me give you a good one. You we're gonna go around this corner, and oh, now we have a reason. Now we're gonna go. And we're gonna climb up on this table. And we're gonna go into this. And then we're gonna get the hell out of here. So there we go. It was all about the vent. I said, I was looking at a vent earlier, and there was just a different reason to look at the vent. Ooh. Okay, now to go back and use this key and get the heck out of here. Hey, disgusting locker uses key. Not a dead guy inside like I expected. Feels magnetic key card. Uses magnetic key card. And we out of here. Towards the big red door. I don't know what the big red door is. But it's right in front of us. And red is usually good. Oh. We walk in a pipe on an ocean. Okay, don't. Do not fall off. Do not vary in our path. Okay. We are. Uh, how do I get in? How do I get in? I hit the apple with something? Do I have something I can hit the apple with? Yeah, I don't want to... No, I can... No, I can't. There we go. I just had to bury my course a little bit. Down the well we go. I take the apple with me. The one red apple in this demon filled world. Are we slowly caressing this apple or are we going? All right, let's go. Ew. Well, that's gross. Now it's all rotted. Threw the apple down. Oh god. What the heck is coming up? That doesn't sound good. There's a lot of you guys, I gotta say.
One apple killed all these people? Really? I'm calling bullshit. Somehow I was in the water tank. But <clears throat> we got the last mask fragment. And there it is. The mirror mask. And I got an achievement for being the mirror mask master. I just put the mask on now. Beautiful looking mask. Very mirror like. Hello, Jesus. How are you this fine day? Put it on. Put it on. Now what? Everything looks weird. I go into this door that has been awkward the entire time no oh, but I got the mask on oh everything looks so much brighter now okay so it's daytime you can only go through specific doors Zooming, not that one. Right. Can I actually leave the house? No. No. I can't. Do I go into the basement? For some unknown reason. Looking like it. Well, it's blue over here now. That isn't the way to go. The only way I can go is towards the gun room. Do I need to go into the gun room? Is there a reason I'm going into the gun room? Alright, we in the gun room. Is this heaven? I mean, everything I've heard so far was, I'm going to hell. So... I can't assume this is heaven. Look, it's my family that I brutally murdered. Yeah, this isn't heaven, this is hell. I'm gonna go boom. Is that it? Well... At the end of the day, it was a very great game. Highly recommend it to anyone who loves horror games. Again, if you want to know how I got the rest of the mask and all three stories, watch the stream from yesterday. Yeah, it's nine hours, but anything is fast if you just skip through it until you hopefully find what you're looking for. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!